What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to go through modding into the Gungeon. Why am I doing this video? Well, simply because a viewer requested it and it's currently free on the Epic Games Store. Opening up the Epic Games Launcher, scrolling down on the store page, you can see it's free up until August 27th at 5pm. So hopefully you managed to grab it before then. Either way, now that I have it installed and in my library over here, if I click on it, the game will open up quite as you expect. But instead of playing the game, I'm going to quit out back to my desktop. Now let's get into modding. In the description down below, you'll find a link to modthegungeon.eu. When you get to here, simply click the button to scroll down, then you'll be taken to something that looks a bit like this. Simply click the button with the latest version inside of it. It should be the big green download button. Clicking on it, it'll start a download of the mod installer. I'll simply click on it to open it. Then you'll see something that looks like this. All we have to do is select where the game is installed. So in the top right of the program, click the little folder icon. Then we'll see this file browser and we'll simply navigate to where the program is installed. For me, it's an E Games Epic Games, enter the Gungeon, and over here we see etg.exe. I'll click on that and click open. For you though, if you've installed it in the default location, it'll most likely be in C Program Files, Epic Games, enter the Gungeon, and then etg.exe. Once you've done that, all we have to do is click install etg mod as such. Now it's installing. It'll download the necessary files and install them and we should have a modded version of Enter the Gungeon installed. Then when we get here and we see modding complete, all we have to do is navigate to where the program is installed. So I'll copy this at the very top and open up a new file browser. Then I'll head across to this folder, E Games, Epic Games, Enter the Gungeon, and we see this over here. So now that we have a modded version of Enter the Gungeon, if I close out of the installer and open up etg.exe, when the game launches up, this time our main menu will look a little bit different. This time, you can see Enter the Gungeon has been replaced with Mod the Gungeon. If I hit F2, it'll open up the developer's console where we can run some commands like help, which will give us a list of all other commands and some examples. Either way, closing it out and getting back to our desktop. And now looking inside of the games folder, we see a mods folder as well as a resources folder because we've launched up the modded game at least once. If we open up the mods folder, we'll see a mods.txt file. To install mods, all we have to do is download a mod zip, add it to this folder over here without extracting it. I'll go ahead and give you a demonstration. Down in the description below, you'll find a link to this mod page over here, modworkshop.net slash game slash enter the gungeon. Inside of here, we can pick from resource mods, custom character mods, semi-mods, non-functional, and contest mods. If I scroll down and sort by popular now, let's go ahead and download a mod. So for now, I'll go ahead and download, say, the custom item collection. I'll click on the mod, and it'll be taken to the mods info page over here. All we have to do is simply click the download zip button in the top right, and we'll get a zip. Then we have some tips on installing the mod. To install the mod, it requires mod the gungeon, which we already have set up. Place the custom items collection zip into the mods folder and also make sure to delete the auto-generated mods.txt file inside your mods folder if there is one. I'll simply drag and drop the zip out of Chrome into this mods folder over here and delete the mods.txt file. Of course, that file will be recreated the next time we launch up into the Gungeon and this zip over here will be added to the list. I'll go back a folder and launch up etg.exe. As you can see, all of these items can be obtained through normal gameplay but can also be spawned through Mod the Gungeon console by typing in give rtr colon item name. So inside of Mod the Gungeon, I'll simply launch up a game, pick a character. This item is only available through the console, big red button. So I'll go ahead and enter the actual Gungeon itself and we'll see if we can spawn it. Give rtr colon big underscore red underscore button. Hitting enter, you can see that it's been spawned. Big red button, I'm warning you, don't press it. I'll use shift to change to the next item and I'll get into a room with people and hit spacebar to activate the item. So, told you not to press it. Reloading, what exactly happens now? Well, we popped into the third chamber. Pretty weird. Over here we have a boss, and we'll see exactly what happens. And there we have it, a custom boss added by the mod, as far as I know. And we're already dead. But anyways, now that we've installed an actual mod, how do we go ahead and install a custom skin mod, i.e. install sprites? Well, it's a little bit different. Heading back to the mod workshop over here, and instead of clicking any of the mods down here, we click the resources section, we'll get a bunch of custom skins and sprites. 
all we have to do is sort by say popular now and I'll go ahead and download a skin. So over here we have the Duolingo Owl skin. All we have to do is unzip the mod, go to game directory, resources, sprites, and put the two folders in there. I'll go ahead and navigate to the games folder, resources, sprites, and drag and drop these two folders from the skin pack over here into the sprites folder. Now, all that we have to do is launch up the game once again. I'll go ahead and use give owl as such, and we can see the custom owl skin over here that we just installed and the sprite is working as expected. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.